What are the top three best apps that every Forex trader needs to be successful, and how do you use them? Hello and welcome back to Trading Strategy Testing Channel. Many people are looking for the best apps that Forex traders must have installed on their phones. In today's video we are going to go through the best 3 apps for Forex and even stock trading. Active traders prefer to have access to market news, quotes, charts, and their trading accounts at their fingertips at all times. This tendency has made smartphone apps extremely popular within the Forex trading community. Nearly all Forex brokers these days are offering mobile applications. But I always ask my students to be careful when their broker is offering a native trading app. It's important to use a Forex broker that does not have a full control over the price of the financial instrument you are trading. I always recommend using ECN brokers that use electronic communications networks to give clients a direct access to other participants in currency markets. Let's not get too much into details, we will focus today on the informative and useful apps that you can use to improve your trading journey and increase your profitability. Without any further ado, let's get into it. But before that, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a thumbs up to help the channel grow and encourage us to make more content in future. Let's get started. The first app is called FX Hours, it's a useful Forex app that helps you monitor the market and see how many hours are left before the opening or closure of any market sessions. You can choose the market session you are interested in to receive the right notification. If you travel a lot, this app will update the location automatically to match your new time zone. FX Hours has plenty of useful features that any Forex trader might need, for example it has an integrated PIP calculator to help you evaluate your trading position, based on the financial instrument you wish to consider. If you click on Forex Calendar, you will see the list of events that might shake the chart, you can select the currency pair you are focusing on, as well as the importance of the event. I usually like to consider the high impact events, but it's also good to look at the medium ones if you are looking for a quick scalping opportunity. If you click on one of the events, you will have the possibility to set up a phone push notification that will remind you when the event is approaching. Well I use this feature quite often for medium impact events, but the app unfortunately doesn't allow you to set multiple reminders. I hope that the developers will integrate this feature soon, I personally have 4 alarms only to wake me up in the morning. Other than that, if you are a fundamental trader, you might find the news section pretty useful. It has the latest articles about the market trends and factors that move the market up or down. This section could help beginners learn more about the trading jargon and how to trade the financial instruments including forex, stocks or commodity market. So the next time you get a chance, try to check out the news section. The last section that some of you might find useful is the interest rates. If you are a swing trader, you should always be aware of the latest interest rates that the financial regulators are releasing, so you won't end up in a negative rollover trade. You can find the download links in the video description. Alright let's move on to the next app. The second app I like to use is called Investing, and it's the application version of Investing.com portal. This app is for all types of financial markets whether Forex, Stock, Indices, Bonds or even Cryptocurrencies but I use it mostly to monitor my stocks watchlist. Here you can find the most popular stocks listed according to the market where they are traded. If you click on any stock, you will find out more about its financial status whether the market is open, closed or even during the pre-market. Let's check Apple stock today. The app shows most of the key indicators you need to know before buying or selling a stock, starting from a basic overview with the bid and ask value as well as the volume, day's range and dividend. Other than that, the app highlights the most advanced indicators such as the EPS, company's cash flow and market cap. This app is a great option for stock traders due to the information it provides, you can rely entirely on this content when you are studying the fundamental characteristics of a stock such as the news, the historic data, as well as the potential yield. The app provides a daily analysis of the stock market done by financial experts, but you need to be careful as this is just their opinion which could be biased, and you still need to search and analyze the chart to understand whether you want to consider it or probably look for a better opportunity. 
Our last app today is probably my favorite ever. It's TradingView. I am sure you guys are familiar with their web platform, especially if you are a member of our community. The app is as powerful as the web version, and the data is synchronized so you can access your chart at any point of time. TradingView is a must-have tool for all traders, you can find our affiliate link in the description below, you can use it to sign up so you can enjoy a $30 free balance as well as a great discount on their different plans. Alright let's log into my account so I could share with you some of the features I use every day. I usually log in using my LinkedIn account. The first thing that shows up is your watchlist, you can add as many instruments as you wish, including forex pairs, stocks and any other financial instrument that the platform supports. You can click on the plus icon to start choosing the financial instrument you wish to add into the watchlist, let me add in my favorite forex pair which is the Aussie dollar. Feel free to check out the video in our channel where we traded this pair in live market conditions, after conducting a full fundamental and technical analysis. You don't need to have a long list, but if you are trading one forex pair, you might need to add in the other pairs you usually use to hedge your position. This app could easily replace the web platform, you can display all the different versions of the chart, including the candlestick, line or even the Heikinachi chart which we used recently to trade forex in one of the videos on this channel. Other than that, you can find the different tools you might need to analyze your chart, such as the indicators, template editor, alarm function, and the most important feature in my opinion, which is the replay mode. If you hit on alerts, you will be able to schedule an alert when a preset condition is met, it could be a MACD or Bollinger Band crossover, or just a key level that the price has reached. You can adjust your settings and give the alert a name if you wish. Once you finish setting up the alert make sure to click on create. You will receive a notification as soon as the condition is met, but make sure that your phone notification settings are properly adjusted. One of the other features I like to use is the replay mode which is quite intuitive, it is used to study past price action, trading history, or to analyze specific investing strategies at a certain point in time. It's also a great way to backtest your trading strategy. Let's add in the Bollinger Band indicator and place a quick trade, we will place a short position here. Let's hit the forward button to move the price forward and see whether the trade is successful or not. Unfortunately this feature is not available in the free plan, but you can use the link below to get the membership at a discounted price, plus a $30 free balance, it's an affiliate link, so we might get a free commission from TradingView, which will help us support this channel. Thanks again. Wow, we have just made 31 virtual pips. By the way, we have made a live stream video which will be running 24-7 on this channel, where we share with you a forex live heat map, plus the market sentiment of various forex pairs, as well as the latest trading related news, we have also enabled the chat features to allow you to share your thoughts and ideas. Make sure to check out the market sentiment before entering your trade to avoid getting trapped in a negative position. The direct link is available in the description box, let us know in the comment section if you want us to make a video explaining how to use the various parameters available on the charts.